What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Vegetarian Damien in the building. You already know what 5150 head first like that. You already know what I'm talking about. You already know how it bees, though. Like, for real, though. Stop playing with them, though. But anyways, uh, yeah. It's your man's Damien. I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for, um, you know, being here on this channel. This video is not going to be that long. To be honest, I am just going to talk all the way straight through. Um... I might throw in a few extra other videos or whatever, give or take. Nah, let me stop um, telling y'all that fib. But yeah, just telling you guys about my day. Um, just to let you know, like these YouTube videos is just me learning more of who I am, learning also more of how I can, you know, get great content out to you guys while also being myself as well. Um, but other than that, I have a lot of things that I need to get over um as far as me being a individual so um yeah but my day today you guys i made about a hundred bucks or almost actually almost a hundred bucks doing lift today or whatever like i try to strive for a hundred bucks every single day with um lift if i don't make a hundred bucks or whatever then you know so be it i made seven hundred dollars you know, during the whole week or whatever. That's if I choose to do it day by day. You know, obviously since I have a job, I can't necessarily do it day by day. So this week, this week actually I made a little bit less than last week. And so with all that being said, um, last week I made almost 600 bucks with um, Lyft because I was going hard as I don't know what. And that's only because I was, um, I was trying to meet this quota for this um, little promotion that they had going on or whatever, right? And so with that going on, I had to get at least about 60 rides, right? 60 rides on top of, um, well, no, I had to get pretty much just 60 rides. I did not meet my quota by the end of the, end of the week. So the promotion went something like this. Okay, they were gonna match my um, earnings up to, up to $765. So I only had gotten um, 41, 42 rides. So I was almost at my quota, but I did not meet the quota by the end of the week because the ending time ended at 5, 5 a.m. the next morning on a, on a Friday. So by the time Friday rolled around, like it was already done, right? So yeah, I did not meet that quota. But at the same time, I came back turned around again and they had like um do up to do 15 rides and get guaranteed 195 190 bucks so i guarantee you i made about 120 no 222 um dollars on that little gig right there with just the 15 rides but all in all um everything went well i got paid out or whatever i did a little bit today um, just to do this stuff in like, um, you know, to make at least a hundred bucks a day or whatever is just, you know, a small goal. But then at the same time, you know, it's kind of like, I don't need all that much. You, you get what I'm saying? Cause it's like, I'm not trying to do this stuff, you know, my whole day. I, I want to do other stuff or whatever. This is why I'm doing this stuff or whatever. But, um, you know, I just say I made a little money in the day. I ain't gonna lie, you know, I got a little stuff to do or whatever, you know, besides all that. But, um, you know, I can still get it paid. I can still, you know, be free. But, you know, I'm gonna have to buckle down and actually learn how to, well, not learn, but just have to take the road that I don't wanna take. And that's going full time with a job yet once again. So I can make ends meet for myself until I can get to my expected end. But I know that I, I will meet my goals for sure because I've been writing down my daily affirmations every day. And yeah, I just know with all that being said, you know, something has got to come about. And then also too, y'all, I ran into like, um, you know, this person today and, you know, I was just on a good vibe like I always am most of the time. <laughs> Not every time is a good vibe, but it, it, I try to make every time a good vibe. But the point is, I ran into, I was, you know, such a good vibe today that I ran into this person um, doing Lyft. And I tend to run into people that, you know, put me in contact with things that I had a um, 
interest in or something like that. But it's like, now that I'm about to leave and, you know, migrate to another spot, now all the stuff starts to pop up like, no, stay here, stay here, stay here. All I had to do was like wait for it. But at the same time, things come when it's time for them to come for you. That's what I and you guys have to understand, like for real. And so I ran into this one guy. He was a business, um, a wealth finance guy or something like that. I don't know. And they explained this in this meeting that this dude invited me to, like out of nowhere, like for real. Out of nowhere, he invited me to a meeting or whatever. So he invited me to this meeting um, and I ended up going home. I was like, bro, I'm not finna. I was feeling like stanky and dirty and all this stuff. Like I was not finna go home, you know, and I was not finna go up to up there to this place and have all of this, you know, these sense with myself going on. But, you know, you got, you got to clean up going around people, you know, you got to clean up going around people and all that. But you see this is leading me to a possibility of my abundance. I, I believe that for sure. I believe that for sure it's gonna put me in contact somewhere. This turquoise, this um tiger's eye, the one for money. I, I always forget what that one is called every time. But um, yeah, it's leading me somewhere. I went upstairs, I promise you. I took me a shower, I went home taking me a shower. It was like every 15, 20 minutes, I got back out on my feet. I was like, uh, -uh. I got to make, make it to this place. I got um, two hours worth of information. I wrote some stuff down and I also got like the little pamphlet or whatever. So, you know, not trying to give away too much information, but yeah, the little pamphlets or whatever with the information on it of the stuff that I need for the um, real estate. So yeah, like that was dope that I ran into this dude. And um, he sent me some other little information out and all that, right? And uh Oh, but this is the carnelian I was telling you guys about. I got my carnelian, my passions. Uh, look, got the turquoise. I got these right here. Let me see. I got one more. This is my rainbow kyanite. This is a um, also a new edition. So this one right here, this is last week's edition. Last week's edition of uh, crystal. And this is this week's edition. From uh, my guy, shout out Roz Kevin. Shout out Roz Kevin. Y'all cash up him $5 right now. If I can find his card, cash up him $5. Hold on, let me look at my wallet over here. But now legit, this business meeting was like low key the, the bomb. For real. I'm trying to come up off of real estate, off of some like I probably just need me a little leeway money or whatever. And real estate is probably the one to do that, for real. But other than that, um, there was that. And then I actually randomly picked up this lady with Lyft. And, like, I, like, completed the the drive. And then um, I just continued to drive her around town and stuff or whatever. Because I was, like, just on that good of vibe or whatever. But... Oh, back to the business thing. I kid you not. Right before I picked up this dude, I picked up a lady. The lady, this is the lady that I was driving around town. And like before I even picked her up, I went to go take pictures of this house, right? That looked kind of abandoned and the grass was growing up. And the house was like, it was like vacant. Like it needed somebody in that thing, right? And so I was like, hmm, maybe I can go, go through with some kind of wholesale deal. You get what I'm saying? And so, <laughs> I kid you not, I picked up this lady, I was on a good vibe or whatever, and I promise you, this dude was putting my queue right around the corner from where I, where I well, um, pretty much from where I was or whatever. I had to drive all the way, well, back down to um, downtown, which was probably about five to seven minutes or whatever away from where I dropped this lady off at, um, really cool lady or whatever from, um, I think she was from like, Cali or something no she was from actually Manhattan actually she was from Manhattan and then this dude that I picked up he was from Cali like he was real cool or whatever he might have been one of those um black guys who was like you know okay cool you know I support black owned businesses you know I see you out here hustling bro so you know I can just you know put you on like that there you get what I'm saying um oh don't forget to leave a like on this video thumbs up 
all that do all that good stuff you guys um but yeah i met this dude got to that business meeting i just took a picture of this house and tell me why i meet up with this dude right within less than about 30 minutes of my time taking pictures of that house it was meant for me to meet those people it was meant for me to meet that man <laughs> but yeah like i said this is the end of this is the end of the video you guys thank you guys for watching and i went on talking about 11 minutes did not know i was going to talk this long hopefully you guys you know watch till the end um but like as always thank you guys for watching peace namaste love you guys subscribe down below audi